Now I want to talk about the practicalities of installing bird free and the importance of correct installation. We've recently received many comments from regular users of bird free on LinkedIn and other media. One of which was from John McNeese of Scottish Pest Control Services in Fife. John's comment was, when installed correctly, it works every time. And I'd now like to focus on the when installed correctly part, because it's true to say that with only a modicum of training, BirdFree allows any PCO, even a PCO who's never done bird work before, to offer his customers a highly effective solution to pigeon problems. As all bird control professionals know, the importance of eliminating nesting at a treatment site cannot be overemphasized. And because eliminating nesting is key to all bird work, I want to focus first on how to install bird free at a nesting site so that the birds abandon the site permanently. For demonstration purposes, let's imagine that this purple area here is a pigeon nesting site. I want you to imagine that the purple section is enclosed with walls on two sides here and here, and that it's covered by a roof. In other words, that it's an enclosed space where pigeons have set up home because it offers protection from the elements and security from predators. The section to the left here is not covered, but acts as a landing or staging post for the pigeons going in and out of the nest. Before I demonstrate how to space the dishes of bird free at this nesting site, let's look first at how we disinfect the site. This is key to any successful installation because we need to eliminate the pheromones by which birds identify their habitat. Now, with every order of bird free, you will receive a copy of our two page installation manual. And if for any reason you haven't received one, you'll be able to download a copy from our website. The first thing you'll notice on the installation manual is a big stop sign with the words surfaces must be thoroughly cleaned and sanitized before bird free dishes are applied. On the second page of the installation manual you'll find a guide to the spacing of the bird free dishes for high, medium and low pressure treatment sites. The basic spacing instructions are 25 centimeters for day roosts and loafing areas, 20 centimeter centers for night roosts, and 15 centimeter centers for nests. Now, for low pressure sites such as day roosts, where there are no nests or major accumulation of feces, routine cleaning of droppings can be done uh, with scrapers and wire brushes. However, before treating nests or long-standing night roosts, where there is a major accumulation of feces, the site should be prepared as follows. Spray all surfaces with disinfectant and allow to soak for 20 minutes. We recommend the use of a disinfectant such as PX Viribus. The dilution rate for PX Viribus is 1 to 20, so you will need to mix 50 milliliters with every liter of water. Spraying the site with this solution and leaving it to soak for 20 minutes will loosen all accumulated droppings and other organic material, making removal much easier. Once the surfaces are cleaned, rinse them off. Next, we recommend spraying the clean surfaces with a light mist of biocide using a pressure spray. For the biocide, we recommend PX Ornikil. The dilution rate for PX Ornikil is one to 10 for nests. So you'll need to mix 100 milliliters with every liter of water. 
Allow the surfaces to dry before applying the dishes of bird free. This two step sanitizing process using a detergent followed by a biocide will eliminate the pheromones by which the birds identify their habitat. Going back to the installation manual, let's just recap this cleaning process. First, apply disinfectant to the surfaces and allow this to soak for 20 minutes. For this, we recommend PX Viribus at a solution of 1 to 20. Clean the surfaces thoroughly, remove all droppings and other organic matter. Then rinse all the surfaces. Respray the surfaces lightly with the biocide solution. For this, we recommend PX Ornikil at a 1 to 10 solution. Allow the surfaces to dry and then install the dishes of bird free with the lids removed following the spacing guidelines. Now that the nesting site has been sanitized of pheromones, let's look at how we fix the dishes of bird free to ensure that the pigeons don't return to their nests. In this case, we're going to fix the dishes with silicon. I've marked the spots where the silicon will need to be applied with these yellow markers, which are 15 centimeters apart. By fixing the dishes at a maximum of 15 centimeter centers to the nesting area, that will ensure that the pigeons don't return to their nests. Note that we should fix the dishes no more than two centimeters from the edge and don't forget to remove the lids. We'll get a better view of how the dishes are spaced on the nesting site from an overhead angle. Now let's look at how we treat the landing area next to the nesting site. The first row of dishes in this case can be fixed at 20 centimeter centers from the last row of dishes on the nesting site. In this case, because this ledge is only 40 centimeters deep, we're fixing these at 15 centimeter centers. If the ledge were deeper, we'd be able to fix these on the landing area at 20 centimeters. The rest of the landing area can be fitted with dishes at 25 centimeter centers like this. So just to recap, on the nesting area, the dishes are fixed at 15 centimeter centers. The first row close, closest to the nesting area at 20 centimeter centers and the remaining dishes at 25 centimeter centers. That will be sufficient to prevent the birds from landing on the landing area and from returning to their nest. Next, I think it will help to show you a video of an actual installation of bird free at a nesting site. This video is courtesy of our American distributor and shows bird free being installed on the sign of a big five sporting goods store in California. As you will see, spikes had previously been installed on top of the sign and inside the letters. However, this had not stopped the birds from nesting. First, the nesting material and the spikes were removed from the cavities in which the birds had been nesting. Next, the surfaces were sprayed with a disinfectant solution. While the disinfectant was left to soak, the spikes were removed from the top of the sign. All surfaces were then sprayed with the biocide solution. Once the surfaces were dry, dishes of bird free were fitted with silicon at 15 centimeter centers. The landing or staging area on top of the sign was treated with dishes of bird free at 20 centimeter centers. Bird free was fitted to all the surfaces of the sign on which birds had roosted and nested. Once complete, the dishes of bird free were invisible from below. As we've already noted, 
Ensuring that the resident birds don't return to their nesting sites is key to the success of any bird job. So we need to make sure that we identify all the nests at the treatment site and treat them accordingly. Some nests, such as this one found on a partition wall in a stable, are easy to spot. The nest was removed, the surface sanitized, and four dishes of bird free were fixed in a square at 15 centimeter centers. Because nests are sometimes concealed and not immediately apparent, it's important to check all enclosed spaces to identify all nests at the treatment site. This nesting site was found against the wall behind an air conditioning duct. The nests were removed, the surface sanitized, and dishes of bird free were fixed at 15 centimeter centers. This nest was removed from a cable tray inside a factory. The cables were disinfected and treated with bird free as shown. Now, let's look at an example of the type of site where colonies of pigeons are commonly found. Sites such as warehouses, factories, car parks or bridges. In these type of sites, pigeons will typically nest on cable trays, in sheltered areas at the top of supporting beams below the roof, behind roller shutter doors, or close to heating equipment, for example. Provided there is no food source present, it's sufficient to treat the nesting areas and the staging areas close to the nests. As long as the pigeons are excluded from these core habitats, it's not necessary to treat all the beams or other surfaces where the resident pigeons might sit during the day. In a colony of pigeons, each pair will have its own designated nesting site. So once these designated sites have been made uninhabitable, the whole colony will abandon the site to find another habitat. In this warehouse, 16 pigeon nests were removed from high level beams and from above the roller shutter doors. The nesting sites were treated with dishes of bird free at 15 centimeter centers, the adjacent landing areas at 20 centimeters. There was no food present and the resident pigeons abandoned the warehouse. The remaining uninhabited parts of the warehouse had not been treated. As mentioned earlier, it's worth pointing out again that bird free is equally effective indoors or outdoors in direct sunlight or in low levels of artificial light. In November 2019, for example, bird free was installed inside the galleries of four new bridges on the A14. The enclosed parts of the structure were in near darkness, even in the daytime. Here we see bird free being installed by lamp light inside a gallery of one of the bridges. Further information on bird free installations at low light levels uh, can be found in the resources section at the end of this presentation. Next, let's look at places where bird free cannot be applied. Bird free will always be effective when applied to the nesting site itself. However, applying it around the periphery of a nesting site which has not been treated with bird free will not deter birds from returning to untreated nests. Some nests are inaccessible. A common example of this is where pigeons nest under solar panels fitted to a roof. If the clearance between the roof and the solar panel is only two or three inches, it's simply not possible to get to the nests under the panels in order to disinfect them and fix the dishes of bird free to the nesting site. Where nesting sites are inaccessible, the gaps or holes through which the birds enter will need to be closed with a metal grill or some other material. With balconies, pigeons will often nest on the floor at the back of the balcony in a corner. 
particularly in the winter months when the balcony is not in use. In this case, it's not sufficient to fix bird free on the handrail. The nest itself needs to be treated. A neat and effective way of doing this is to fix the dishes of bird free to a small square of artificial grass or some other substrate such as a rubber mat. Once the pigeons have left, if the customer retains the lids, he can put them back on the dishes, store the whole thing in, say, a pizza box, and take it out again if the pigeons try to return during the winter months when the balcony is not in use. One final thing to note is that the dishes of bird free need to be fixed to the actual surface on which the birds roost or nest. For example, fixing the dishes vertically around the frame of a doorway will not prevent pigeons from flying through the doorway. In this example, there are three errors. First, the dishes of bird free have been fixed vertically against the wall rather than on the canopy. The roost has not been disinfected and the dishes are too far apart. Now, let's look at treating night roosts with bird free. Like nests, night roosts are invariably to be found in enclosed spaces which offer shelter from the elements and are identified by large accumulations of droppings on the night roost itself and frequently on the ground below. This night roost on the upper section of these rafters had resulted in the floor of a well-known tourist attraction being covered in droppings. After the surfaces were cleaned and disinfected, dishes of bird free were applied to the night roost at 20 centimeter centers rather than at 15. Pigeons had been night roosting on the flanges of these beams and fouling the floor below. The flanges were disinfected and treated with dishes of bird free at 20 centimeter centers. Night roosts and nests are often found in the corners of pediments. Treating the surfaces with dishes of bird free at 15 centimeters per nests or 20 centimeters per night roosts will solve the problem. Let's take a look at two brief videos which show pigeon night roosts being treated with bird free. First on louvers and then on the pillars of a porch. When I'm cleaning windows. Pigeons roosting at night on these louvers was good business for the window cleaner. But the cleaning bills were mounting up and the client needed a solution. When the louvers were inspected last week, the severity of the infestation became apparent. All the pigeon droppings were removed and the surfaces of the louvers were disinfected to eliminate the pheromones by which pigeons identify their habitat. When I'm cleaning windows. Once the louvers had been disinfected, dishes of bird free were installed at 20 centimeter centers. This is the spacing required to prevent pigeons from night roosting. Spots of silicon were applied every 20 centimeters from corner to corner. The lids were removed from the dishes of bird free and the dishes were fixed onto the spots of silicon. Dishes were fitted right into the corners as this is where pigeons most like to roost. The installation was completed 45 minutes before sunset. The site was monitored for pigeon activity for a period of one hour, from 30 minutes before sunset to 30 minutes after. No pigeons attempted to alight on the louvers during that time. When I'm cleaning windows. At sunset on the 15th of December, pigeons were observed roosting on top of these pillars. They'd been night roosting there for some time. In this dirty old part of the city, 
when the sun refused to shine. On the 26th of January, the tops of the pillars were disinfected and dishes of bird free were fixed at 20 centimeter centers. The whole job took no more than half an hour. By sunset the same day, the pigeons had abandoned the site. We gotta get out of this place. Finally, let's look at how we treat day roosts with bird free. Surfaces on which pigeons loaf in the daytime or vantage points such as window ledges, signs or roofs from which pigeons scout for food can be classed as day roosts. With day roosts, the surfaces are first cleaned and dishes of bird free are then fixed to the surfaces at 25 centimeter centers. As shown in the following video, when applying bird free to a ledge or window sill, dishes should be fitted two centimeters behind the front of the ledge. This will make the dishes invisible from below. First, apply spots of silicon 25 centimeters apart, about five centimeters behind the leading edge. This will allow you to fix the dishes of bird free at 25 centimeter centers so that the front of the dish is two centimeters behind the front of the parapet. Next, remove the lids from the dishes and fix them onto the spots of silicon so that the front edge of the dish is two centimeters behind the front edge of the parapet. Bird-free dishes are only eight millimeters high. Fixing them two centimeters behind the leading edge makes them invisible from below. Make sure to fix the dishes evenly at 25 centimeter centers. This makes for a neat and tidy finish. Treat window ledges at 25 centimeter centers end to end. For deeper ledges or ledges with raised sills, fix an extra dish in each corner. Next, let's look at ways in which the dishes of bird free can be fixed. The most common method is to fix them with little spots of silicon adhesive. One tube of silicon is enough to fix about 90 dishes. We also supply magnetic dishes. These are ideal when treating plant or machinery that requires regular maintenance because the dishes can easily be removed and replaced once the maintenance is complete. We also supply these self-adhesive mounts for cable ties. We simply peel off the top here, fix the dish to the top of this mount, and thread the cable tie through the holes in the bottom. The cable tie is now ready to secure around pipes, handrails, etc. Here we can see dishes of bird free fixed with cable ties around the top of a silo and inside the plant room of a flood barrier. For fixing dishes with silicon, I will mention one final caveat. If the surface to which the dishes are to be fixed is at all damp, we recommend using a high tack silicon such as Abifix.